You are? Honestly. Okay. Um, we have a garden log so that every time we come out, we just write what time it is and what day it is so that we can record how it's looking and the height and how tall and wide and stuff. And we're just, because they're the same things on the shade and the sun sunshine side so that um, we can see what the difference because of the sun and the shade. Um, what are you noticing so far about the difference between the sunny side and the shady garden? The sun, the sunshine side, um, it's a lot taller than the shady side. <laughs> and um, they're just a lot bigger and they would need a lot more water. Aha! Uh -huh. Does anyone know, I mean, does anyone know why the sunny side they do better? Yes. What's your name? Luis. The reason why the sunny side is um, giving the plants, making the plants go faster is because um, when the water dries up, it, the water goes down into the soil, which gives the, which gives the roots like extension to go up and like to grow faster. And then if it's all shady, like it won't have that much. Uh, it like it will take longer. I see. Okay. What did we find out, boys and girls, about the sun and nutrients? What does it give the, the um, plants and the animals? The vitamins and the energy. energy. There you go. What is it? Energy. energy. Energy that it needs to grow. Good. Okay. So we're having a good time growing our own food and figuring out what we're supposed to be doing with things that are alive and how to care for them. Anybody going to start a garden at home? We already have one. Already. You, you already have one? Yeah, we do. We have a cactus garden. I'm going to a cactus garden? Yes. That's more for um, beauty or do you eat some of the cactus petals? Mostly like both. Uh-huh. Great. Anybody else? Yeah. yeah. So I might plant like an orange tree at home. Or like some like rosemary bushes or like a cactus plant or like some interesting kind of plant that you don't see around these things. Fun. Something fun and original, something new. Great. Yeah. So it's been a big inspiration. It has because this has uh, took in so much work and it's really going to pay off at the end and it's going to be really good to all of us when they go into food and we get to eat it. <laughs> when will you be eating? When when does the eating the date more or less? What yeah. What months did oh. we say? May. In May. We May. Eat in May. So you got uh, March, April. So we got about three months. You have to be a little bit patient, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. And I think We're they wanted to know that it's not like going enough. to the grocery store. Yeah. yeah. You have yeah. to have some patience and take care of it. Really, we're kind of good to get out outside, mm -hmm. so that way. We we can also see the nice breeze that we have. Well, really, it was raining, so. <laughs> it was snowing in Sedona this morning, so uh, amazing. The rain's good for the plants. Oh, the rain, that's a good thing, way to look at it, that the rain's good for the plants. Do any of you, uh, like, worry about getting your hands dirty in the dirt? Sometimes. No. Sometimes? <laughs> well, I'm glad to hear most of you don't feel too afraid of that, because I've met some kids who say, oh, I don't want to get my hands dirty. And, uh, that makes me sad. So all you have to do is wash them off later, right? <laughs> and it's good earth, right? right. In fact, if you turn and look, our um, we have a pot. ground is a natural habitat, and it's what's the name of it, boys and girls? Right there. Yeah. 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 Introduce yourself and give us a little tour of that.
Yeah, let's go over. All right. Thank you. <laughs> okay, and we're going to excuse ourselves and go back to class. It's about time for us to call it a day. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, but Sorry. thank you very much. We appreciate your coming. And be sure and come back to Arizona and help <laughs> us harvest. <laughs>